Welcome back to Super Metroid Legacy. We are going to be delving into... Well, hopefully delving into... Lower Norfair. Just trying to figure out the best way to get there. So, I'm going to go around this way. Destroy the bug so we can speed boost across. So yeah, I mean, now basically it's just Ridley and then terrain. I think I've done fairly well collecting items so far. Kind of getting my hopes up to that hundred percent. Okay. Charge stop was not working as well as I thought it would. It's nice about Plasma's ability to cut through enemies. I hit more than one enemy with a single shot. But I also find it to be slightly overpowered. But it is kind of a reward because. Okay, yeah, I wanted this. Actually, I'll show off that one thing over here. But. I mean, it is kind of a reward for later in the game. So, and there's also very strong enemies after that. Which would be quite hard without plasma. So, I mean, I tried to balance it out, I still find it to be a little bit overpowered. So, yeah, there's that little exit there. So now we're back in here. Should be able to make our way to the uh, elevator to Norfair. Shouldn't be too far from here. I'm in between recording these videos. I'm been on the IRC channels. The Metroid construction community and ask them a question about if they've any of them have ever performed a reverse boss order because there was a YouTube video posted earlier about well, a new reverse boss order that's being worked on. A reverse boss order is probably the hardest thing you could do in Super Metroid. I mean, I'm... Okay, yeah, I'm just making sure where I'm going. It's gotta be really difficult because you're fighting with limited supplies. I mean, you still collect quite a bit, but you can't collect everything for Ridley that you would normally have for him. And... You know, for a fact, it requires... At least one crystal flash. I'm pretty sure it requires more than that. So you're working off those. You're working off limited supplies. I mean, I mean, then after where? Oh, okay. I think I've got it now. Right, so you're working off all this stuff. You gotta go fight Ridley. In a heated room without Varia. And that's probably the hardest part. 
But then after that, you're doing suitless Meridia. Just gotta be. Another thing. Absolutely crazy. I mean, I know it can be done. But. It's just. Very amazing that. Is it. That you're actually able to pull it off. So, I guess I am kind of looking forward to the rest of that run. But now we're going back to the mapper. or something else entirely, I don't know. So yeah, here we go.
like how the huge monsters drop the smallest health unit possible. you probably know about the problem with gold tree though where you can just stand right in front of him if you position yourself right and he can't do anything about it he can't hit you or anything I'm not doing a very good job of doing it here we go so yeah he's stuck now he can't do anything about you ways to fix that. The most obvious would be a spike pit. Um, my brother at Angry Fire Chozo used treadmills. So, there are ways to get around it. I think this is the energy refill, which I will use. Some people may love that time. 
It's not a bad tile system. No. I think it's a useless one. So yeah, over here is probably the sneakiest missile. I mean, there's no hint for it. It's just hidden there. Or at least I don't think there's a hint for it. Kind of same direction. See you for the next part, which may be my last one for this. Hopefully, we'll see you then.